So you should have already configured and set up your LDAP server. Now it's time to do the client. So the first step, I need to SSH into my client. So I'm gonna copy the host name, use the SSH command. Uh, I'm gonna use my student user, which I'm using to SSH. All right, I'm in. Uh, so the next thing, uh, I need to set the host name of this machine. We did that on the server. We're also gonna do that here on the client. So I'm just gonna copy and paste the command. I am going to basically put it on the same domain, right? So the FQDN is gonna have the same suffix, learn linux.local, but I'm gonna call it client. So the host name is gonna be client. All right, now I've set the host name. I'm also going to uh, add it to the host file. It's always good to have our cells added to the host file. Um, and you'll notice I actually kind of did this wrong. This should be client, not LDAP right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit that. Um, and I'll update the instructions with that as well. Uh, and just so you can see it, I'm gonna use VI. Uh, if you've never really played with a host file before, This is what the host file looks like. You can see one of my lines here is wrong. I don't want this one that says LDAP, so I'm gonna delete that line. So I have the client one in there. Um, so that way I don't have the wrong one in there. All right, so the next step is I need to also add to that host file the uh, the server IP address. So, and there's got a little placeholder in here. So this way we'll be able to connect to the server and not have to rely on DNS. Our little Google network may or may not have DNS. So I gotta go find that. Uh, so there's my internal IP address for the server. It's uh, 10.128.0.8. All right, so that should add that to the host file. So now if I try to ping um, LDAP, it should work, right? Or if I try to ping LDAP learn linux.local, it should be pinging .8. So I know that works. So we've got the, uh, the host file set up. Next, I'm going to install the packages that we need. Um, so the package that we need. So we need to install the LDAP client on this system. Uh, first, I'm gonna start with doing my updates and upgrades. So I'm gonna let that run. This is gonna take a little time. And when this is done, you'll be able to move on to installing the packages that we need for this part of the lab. And once that's done, we're gonna install some packages that we need uh, and this will another yeah, it'll take another couple of seconds. And once we do that, this is gonna pop up. It's gonna ask us to do some configuration. So first we have to give it the uh, address to get to our LDAP server. So I'm gonna put the FQDN for the LDAP server. So mine is ldap.learn-linux.local. Uh, Remember we added that to the host file, so I know it should be able to get there. Next, I'm going to put in the uh, the base DN. So the base DN should be DC equals learn dash Linux comma DC equals local. It automatically did this by looking at the uh, uh, the FQDN that we just created. All right, now we have to select some services that we have to configure. We need the top three: password, group, and shadow. So just select those. I'm using the space bar to uh, select each one of those and the arrow keys to move up and down. And when you're done that, if you tab over to OK. Just click enter and that should configure that package. And then we'll just wait for this to finish. Okay, so looks like the packages are installed. We're ready to move on to the next step.